Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week I filmed for y'all a challenge. It was the lion diet challenge. So if you don't know what the lion diet is, it's basically ruminant meats, ruminant meat, salt, and water, which I did include different drinks. So um, I wasn't extremely strict um, lion diet, but I did stick to the ruminant meats. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoy and let's go. Hey guys, so lion diet day one. Pre-workout snack is some Applegate roast beef and the only ingredients are um, beef, salt, pepper. Yeah, um, so I'm excited to try this and then we're gonna go to the gym. It's upper body day, let's go. Hey guys, so. Uh, just got done with my workout. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of feel a little weak like I felt a little weak today So I'm not sure if that has to do With the sardine fast or you know, I'm just extra sore who knows it could be a bunch of different things, but um, I went to go sit in the sauna and now I'm going home Whoa. and I'm actually pretty hungry post-workout drink i did mct oil some chocolate colostrum um some creatine and some salt chocolate electrolytes and that was my post-workout drink and now i am having two um burgers um and some roast beef some more of the roast beef i this is the meat um it is the applegate roast beef and then also the ancestral um, blend. So it's just ground beef, beef liver, and beef heart. So that is post-workout meal. Hey guys, so I just had one of those sparkling elements and um, I'm now I'm having a Zevia and I'm gonna go make it dinner. Okay, so I'm having two of the Applegate hot dogs. It's just all beef hot dogs having two of those and then the other half of my ground beef super yummy and for dessert i'm going to do one of these shift chocolate ketone powder it's just ke um ketones and some cocoa powder and then i'm going to do like four tablespoons of this beef tallow and combine that for like a like nut butter mimic or cookie dough i don't know we'll see Hey guys, so um, it's the next day and for the same pre-workout, I'm just having some roast beef. Okay guys, so for my post-workout drink, I'm doing some of the chocolate colostrum, creatine, um, cocoa, salt, electrolytes, two tablespoons of MCT oil, and like a teaspoon of um, glycine in my, or not in this, but hydronized water. And now me and my mom are going to Costco. Hey guys, so now I'm going to do half of this pack um, of ground beef. It's just Thousand Hills um, 85-15. Um, it's really good. I'm going to do half now and then the rest later. And then I'm doing the rest of this um, roast beef. I have half for pre-workout and now I'm having the other half. So let's make it. I'm just going to cast iron sear it. Hey guys, so I'm going to be making my dessert again. I'm doing um, another one of these chocolate shift ketones and then also like five tablespoons of beef tallow. Also, I got this beef tallow off Amazon. It's so good. 
Okay, so now I'm cooking dinner and I'm having a stevia. Having one of these grass fed Teton breakfast sausages. It's just 100% beef and rosemary extract and salt. And then I'm having the rest of my pack of Thousand Hills and then two um, Applegate beef hot dogs. Guys, I literally can't make these meals look appealing and like look pretty for a picture because it's just so like, I don't know, it doesn't look appetizing, but you know, I'm gonna show you anyway. Okay guys, so for breakfast today, I'm having a ribeye and some of the Applegate roast beef. Hey guys, now I'm having my um, colostrum chocolate electrolyte MCT oil drink and it's really good. And I also had a um, element um, a little while ago, the watermelon sparkling, um, yeah, those are really good too. Okay guys, it's the next day, but I forgot to tell y'all, yesterday for dinner, I just had another ribeye, a Applegate beef hot dog, and some more of that roast beef, and then I had my um, beef tallow chocolate mixture, so um, nothing y'all haven't seen before, and technically my um, challenge is over. So, I think I'm just going to have eggs this morning, like, some eggs and meat this morning and, like, um, go back to, or go to carnivore and incorporating more animal products. So, that's the plan. And, yeah, but I feel pretty good. Well, guys, that was my lion diet challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions. I am going to do be doing carnivore now, so I'm just going to be sticking to all animal products and eggs. And yeah, I feel like Lion Diet was um, a really fun challenge and I enjoyed it quite a bit, um, much more than the sardine fast, but you know, I don't know. Uh, I think there was more, a little more variety and um, I love red meat, so <laughs> it was kind of easy. But um, yeah, I feel pretty good. I don't, like I'm not, like I could keep going, but I am really craving some eggs. So um, I'm going to be adding back some eggs and I feel amazing. So if you're dealing with some like inflammation in your body, I definitely think you should give it a go. And um, yeah, I highly recommend. If um, It's also good for people who have um, autoimmune disorders. Um, there's a lot of good benefits, and it was coined by Michaela Peterson. So if you want more information, I would recommend going and checking her out. And yeah, so now I'm going to Carnivore. And let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be happy to answer them or video ideas. And whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Bye.